so I don't really care. Okay, you click go live, we're live. Going live, it's still loading. You are live. We're live? Are we loading or are we live? You are live. Oh, yay! We'll do it live! Yay! <laughs> yay! <laughs> Welcome to Moose Turk! This is not Moose Turk. <laughs> Moonstruck. We are making a short film. And by we are making a short film, I don't mean some hypothetical date in the future. I mean, what did you do all night last night? Wait, it still says waiting on her phone. Mine says live. Oh, here it goes. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Anyways, uh, what we did last night is we shot a film. Literally until until from sunrise to sunset. Except the er, reverse of that. That well, that just tells you what state of mind I'm in. <laughs> it was yeah. We were shooting from seven p.m. until six twenty six thirty a.m. Yeah. It was very late. This little person. <laughs> oh, whoa, really loud. Plays my daughter. Plays his, his actual daughter. Is my daughter. Who are you? Introduce <laughs> yourself. Uh -uh. Don't talk to me. Talk to the camera. <laughs> Hi. Okay, she's nailed, being shy now for some reason. Nailed it. Absolutely nailed it yesterday on camera because she didn't have to talk to the camera. Uh, yeah, this is Audrey. She is playing your daughter. Mm -hmm. uh, you are playing a scary person wearing very, very cute eye makeup. I am playing Alan's Freudian fears about his parenting. <laughs> parenting and uh, hu husbandry? And, hus and husbanding, yeah. Or husbandry, yeah. You might notice that I've got guy liner on right now. Uh, last night, we're doing a blend. Some stuff happens with my face. Can't spoil it, won't spoil it. But it's a, it's a blend of practical and digital. And so yep. the practical was much more than this. We scrubbed it as much as we could. And I still walked around all day as Captain Jack Sparrow or Toby from Spider-Man 3. And owned it. Completely owned it. Shona, join us. Jump in here. here. No. This is our, this is our no. whole family. OK, hi. Hello. <laughs> This, See, is this, is our, this is our little nuclear family here. Family. Yes. Oh, oh. nice. <laughs> Shona, introduce yourself really Hello, quickly. I'm Shona, and I'm playing Liz in this, and I'm the mummy who is... In peril. Is in peril. Yeah. No spoilers, but... No spoilers, but she's being imperiled by, again, my Freudian fears. <laughs> but it's, it's not great. But as most great scary <clears throat> movies, this is about a happy family in a dark house at night. Yep. And all hell breaks loose. <laughs> Correct. Uh, you may have noticed on the thumbnail, we are doing a Kickstarter for this. The Kickstarter ends tomorrow. It's uh, got like exactly 24 hours. It, exactly 24 hours from right, basically right now. Uh, so if you want to donate or pledge, uh, we have already reached a bunch of our goals. We have a couple, of, well, we really have one big stretch goal left. We want to do yeah. like a big theatr theatrical screening. Uh, everyone who pledges above what is it, the $10 level, I think, mm -hmm. is invited to that? Audrey is being asked Wait, do to... they get popcorn with this invite? There is. There will certainly be popcorn. Bring your own milk, dads. You Popcorn will be provided. Popcorn will be provided. You get to sit next to... You also me. have to get yourself to Utah, because that's where we are. We're not going to bring a movie. Road trip! <laughs> yeah. But then you get to hang out with us, which is a deterrent, maybe? Who knows? It's great. We're great. <laughs> but Shona's this was... great. Shona's British, so you get well, to listen to that lovely accent. Yeah. Is it? Are we? Do we sound terrible? Like, do Americans sound terrible to Brits? We do, don't we? Your entire audience is American. No, we're not a lot of Brits. Forty percent of our audience is American. Only and, forty. And I don't think there's a single American who's going to take umbrage with it. We're going to be. Yep. Yeah, we no, we Brits sound, sound really... better than us. Well, aside from people from Essex. Well, yeah, I am originally from Essex, but people but from like, Essex don't like speak a, like me. You're not like a Towie Essex. I'm like, proper Essex people talk a bit more like this. Like, your ass is nice and your trousers are nice. and That's a proper Essex Look, accent. When I, was, when I was there in Ibiza <laughs> with my girlfriends... <laughs> well, I can't. No, well. You can't do it. <clears throat> anyway, that's an Essex. I'm the one who fought the Dementors, Hermione. I don't know where that's from, but it's Hogwarts. The yeah. Harry Potter is literally the only British accent I can do, <laughs> and even that's debatable. Anyway, uh, so we're making a short film. What are, we're shooting more of it tonight. We only have two uh, two days of shooting, so we're halfway done. Yeah, you're gonna do some fun stuff today. Well, so I haven't. Alan and I did a film back in 2007. This has been 15 years since we've done a movie Long together. Time. It was literally his first feature film, and I know that he's you know become a filmmaker, professional filmmaker since then. But I haven't been on set with him except for once we did a commercial. We did a commercial. Like I wrote it, you directed it, and then ten years yeah. Ago that we did that. And so I got to get a, I got to like see him in his element. Mm -hmm. But it's so much fun seeing him here now. And you know what? You're better than you were 15 years ago. I appreciate that. Marginally. 
A little bit. Yeah. No. Five, five to ten percent. <laughs> no, we've got like a full crew here. Like, like, how many people do we have on set? What's the cr uh, Darren? Step in here. Darren in here, is our Darren. producer. Darren also former business partner of mine. Yeah, yeah. Longtime friend of both of ours. Mm -hmm. You have known Jono for only like three weeks less than me. I, I think we could like actually run back the tape and maybe I've lo known him longer. It could because I ran sound for Divine oh, Comedy you, back in the day. Did yeah. you run sound for his when he did the his Gollum thing when he won? Even before that, yes. Okay, yeah. so, so we you may have known him longer way than back. Me. Yep. But I also worked on that movie that you two worked on. Mm -hmm. That's true. And I produced the thing you were just talking about, the commercial from ten years ago. So yes, you we've, did. we've all been involved in these things over a number of years now. A long time. Um, we've, what are we at? Don't make me do public math. Uh, 12, <laughs> 12 people, people here, I think. It's a it's a real crew. It's yeah. a real talented group of people. Really, really we talented. We have real actors. We have real sound people, real grips and electrics, mm -hmm. real camera crew. People yeah. coming in from out of state it's to work amazing. on this. Yeah, it's pretty yeah, amazing. It's very cool. And the thing that I'm loving the most, because this is an atmospheric set at night thriller, is I love to watch a lot of those movies, but I only see the finished product. So actually being on set with the lighting, stepping into a room where you're like, this feels evil. And I kind of love it. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Yeah, because all of the stuff we'd done before was basically like whatever we could find lighting. And then do you remember Do you remember the one light we had on CTU Provo the whole time? It was an old parking lot light. Do you I remember don't remember this? that. I remember another film we it's did. a big clunky metal thing that literally our director of photography like... It had fallen down in a parking lot, <laughs> and he was like, "This is I coming wondered. back to me." So he like took it and rewired it and plugged it in, and it turned on. And he's like, "Cool, now I own a light." <laughs> yeah, well, we that was we were college oh kids, man. We Can I no add money. one more story to CTU Provo's like low budgetness? Well, please do. So I was the post production sound engineer on this movie, yep. and I was like doing everything I can to get on this movie. I was talking to all the Divine Comedy people. I didn't know Alan yet. So I was yeah, like, somebody talk to Alan and tell him that I do this for a living and I want to work on this movie. So they finally hired me and they they connect me with one of the producer's chair and he's like, yeah, I've got your money. Meet me at the Smith's parking lot. And for your, we'll for your initial payment because we paid you like a bit up front and then yeah. like there was So this was a parking lot drop. Oh yeah, I required half down. In a parking lot. It was meet in the Smith's parking lot in Provo. <laughs> And he, you know, I had never met Sharon before, but he's like, hey, are you Darren? I'm like, hey, what's up? So I walk up and he grabs this grocery bag of like, ones and fives, $1,500 worth of one, ones, ones and, and fives, fives, and hands it over and says, here you go, man. <laughs> <laughs> to this day, I have one of the $1 bills framed, framed. in my office <clears throat> because that was like one of the very first professional projects well, it was, that I It was did. your first one that you did as the supervising sound. Yes, editor, like, right? top like top to bottom, bottom sound yeah. all by myself. I had yeah. done a few yeah. like where I was on a crew before that, but yeah. Oh man, indie filmmaking at its finest. So, so this a feels bag of, really nice. A bag of singles in a parking lot. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and so we're, we're not <laughs> quite at that stage right now. But we were in our <laughs> mid twenties, fairly fearless. You and Megan were dating, but not married. Not married yet. Yeah. And so she married me after being with me for a year making that movie. And we were all just like a bunch of idiots. Like, hey, we're in our twenties. We're indestructible. We can do stunts. Alan got hit by a car Go repeatedly ahead and drive that on car purpose. Into me at Fifteen miles an hour. <laughs> I was hanging from the door of a van going thirty-five miles an hour, and Alan was just off camera with his hand like gripping my belt, and he's like, "If you fall, I got gotcha. you." Right? Like this, this is, is totally gonna work. This is how they do it in the movies. Oh, man. And so now we're forty, and now I've literally had to go to the ch chiropractor from a sneeze gone sideways. <laughs> you know, like I, that's that's where we're at, and we uh, I'm doing a stunt. He's doing it, yeah. It's gonna be. I'm really excited for you all to see what John is gonna do because I. I have to I'm tell gonna... a story about this. <laughs> okay. We were doing Show rehearsal. <laughs> and I didn't I, know he I... could do stunts, and we had not well, met. Well, look very... at me. Okay. No one would know I could do stunts. <laughs> <laughs> Except he tries to convince me every day that his man, his dad bod is like the ultimate in all ultimates, and I believe him now because we're standing at the top of the stairs. We're it, doing. That's not what that sounds like, by the way. <laughs> We're doing a rehearsal, <laughs> and, and we're doing a walkthrough, and he's like, you know, and then I, I would probably hit this corner, and then, you know, and I thought he was speaking in theory. So I'm standing at the top, I'm like, yeah, you'd hit that corner, and then in theory, theory you would fall down the stairs. He's like, yeah, I'd hit this corner, and then I would, boosh, and he literally went brrr, all the way down the stairs. Fell backwards down and the I'm stairs. And I'm like, ah! <laughs> Like, we, we killed him! Save it for 
for when she's, we're rolling next time. Totally I, I had no idea he had any oh, idea we got it from how behind to the do footage. stunts okay. yeah. at all. We okay. need to show that. We need to show that clip because I wet myself a little bit. It was <laughs> it was so traumatizing. I thought we killed Jono. He was dead, and we. I was like, do we have oh, do man. we have a replacement? Can we? <laughs> so yes. It was awful. Meanwhile, I've known this guy for a long time, and you know he first of all beforehand was like, okay, I'm just gonna do it. I'm like, okay, one quarter speed. But I know, because I've seen you do stair falls before. I've seen you do uh -huh. all this stuff. I know you can do it. Well, you knew 26-year-old me could do it. I knew, well, <laughs> it's in there. It's, it's in the genes. It's, all in there. it's like riding a bus in there. <laughs> Once you fall down a set of stairs. Well, anyone can fall down stairs, but falling down stairs and not actually not hurting really yourself. Getting hurt. yeah. Backwards. And like without, and oh, it was awful. So we need to show that video. But so that was what yeah. he did on a whim. So you wait till you see what he it does It was exhilarating to know I could still do it. <laughs> And so, <laughs> thank you so much. Who? Oh, hey, thank you so that's much. Amazing. That's amazing. Thank so you. Nice. You that's are awesome. also someone said that you guys are every college bromance's dream. Ooh. I like it. I will not even dispute that. That is accurate. Uh, I was jealous of their college bromance. I'll admit it. Oh wow. <laughs> Dude, well, we, were business we had partners a, we for, had our own bromance. We were though. business partners yeah, for ten were... years. Our business completely <laughs> fell apart, and my kids still call you Uncle Darren. Like, we've got a pretty solid bromance going. And this now we're polybromerous. Oh, when my. I came I in, that's my was... cue. I will take that. <laughs> <laughs> He's got movie to produce anyway. <laughs> We've only, we've only got a couple minutes left. Shona, what were we going to say? Oh, I was just going to say, uh, Shona's performance in this is going to blow you away because she's oh, doing so scary movie. I don't want to say Final Girl. I'm going to say Badass Woman stuff, but it's It's, it's very awesome. fun. And uh, I threw all the hardest stuff at you like right off the bat yesterday. Yeah, that's and how I like it. came in and crushed Challenge it. accepted. It's Super been so fun. much fun, actually. I've really yeah. actually enjoyed Can it. Also and BTS stuff? We haven't done a lot of our stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Show some BTS clips while we while we talk. Do you have the falling down the stairs? I don't <laughs> have falling down the stairs. No, no we'll, we'll save that for when it's... But uh, once again, if you're if you're wanting to help contribute, I mean, the film is funded. We got some stretch goals, right? We have some stretch goals. You can get yourself a whole bunch of. There's a bunch of different swag you can get: signed scripts, signed artwork, mm -hmm. uh, my storyboards, some artwork from our other storyboard artist. Who did I tell you what Cortland did? No. So he, when when I was talking to Cortland, our storyboard artist, he was telling me he had just finished kind of a big show, but he couldn't talk about it. It just got announced two days ago. He was one of the storyboard artists on the new Kung Fu Panda show for DreamWorks. Oh, really? Yeah. And he's working on our he's film. He's working on our film. That's awesome. Go us getting top quality people. Uh, so, and then there's going to be a chance for those who are just joining us. Uh, if we hit a stretch goal, then, hey, guys, guys, thank you. Uh, the, the sound department's always the loudest people on set, and that sound that department sound over there. Department over and that's saying something, because I'm hella loud all the time. Uh, what was that? Oh, that we are looking to do a theatrical premiere that we would invite you to. So help us hit that. So you yes. can go to Kickstarter and look for uh, Moonstruck, Moonstruck Horror Short. And in yeah. the event that they don't get to see the theatrical premiere, where can they watch this? What's after this, we do that? This will be on YouTube. Okay. It'll be released on the Telekinesis YouTube channel, which is my uh, company YouTube channel. Uh, there's, yeah. I think there's a link in the description. If not, you can find it. Just search Telekinesis Entertainment. Um, and uh, so it will be coming on YouTube. We're going to try to do a, a round of short films first before mm -hmm. that. So it'll be a few months. And then, oh, Shona, I think you're needed. No, no, no. Oh. When you're done. Oh, when we're done. Okay. okay. Thanks, in a, man. In a minute. Oh. Um, uh, so yeah, we're going to do short. We're going to do film festivals. Mm -hmm. Then it'll be on YouTube. There will be a bunch of behind the scenes material. Uh, some of the backer levels, you will get additional behind the scenes material that no one else gets. Yeah. Do we have, are we doing... Are we doing Q&A at all? Okay. Including, let's that. make a meme Five of him falling down the stairs and up the stairs and down the oh. stairs and up the stairs and be like, ah, ooh, ah, ooh. I mean, that's just have... for me. Just um, do it questions. for me. I have to go uh, get mic'd up. I'm going to leave yeah. it with them. Mwah. Can we, a couple minutes for Q&A? We can do a couple of minutes, yeah. We got to get up and run, but yeah. Um, so some people asked where the um, watch, like the live. Uh, showing up the oh, so the yes. So one of the rewards is a live watch party uh, with us when we have a finished thing. So it'll be the cast and crew screening mm -hmm. uh, here, um, but we're going to stream it to you, so you'll be able to watch it on a live stream. We'll we'll do that over probably over uh, what's your majig, our new thing that we've been using. Oh yes, I'll think of it after we're done with our live pure pure smear. Uh, super pure. Super pure. Yeah. 
uh, which is which is a live streaming. Uh, it's like Zoom, but seems to work better for streaming to a group. Well, and you can and you have and live like chat, chat amongst stuff. everybody, and yeah. so it's really there's a lot of cool function. That's super yeah. Cool. So so there are some uh, backer slots available still for that that live watch party. Uh, everybody else above the the what is it the twenty dollar level I believe you get like full four K HDR digital downloads of mm -hmm. everything. Everybody will be able to watch the film on YouTube when it comes out, but uh, yeah, you get to download it. There's a soundtrack level where you get high quality soundtrack downloads. There's there's yeah. a lot of fun stuff. So check out the Kickstarter. Uh, you may have Do noticed we, have... we didn't have a new episode yesterday. We have a new we have new episodes coming. Well, one later this week and two, three, three two in next, the next week. week. Yeah, yeah, three in the next week. Yeah, uh, including really special guests. I think we can say it here. Gabe, we can. Gabe Kapler, who is the manager of the San Francisco Giants, is joining us to talk about healthy masculinity. Seven wins last season. Yep, most winning season the Giants have ever had. He yep. was National League Manager of the Year, and he's very passionate about mental health, especially mental health for men, because there's so much stigma for men getting mental health. And he's saying, "Look, here I am, very successful major leaguer." And we're talking about mental health, right? And so yep. uh, we're doing Fight Club with him. and Because uh, if you want to talk about men's mental health and masculinity topics, Fight Club is a good one. Yes, it is. Yes, that it was is. actually his pick, too, wasn't it? It was. Yeah. It was. We were excited. <clears throat> uh, any other questions? Uh, will it be on YouTube? Yes. The short film will be on YouTube. Yes, Moonstruck. It'll be on the Telekinesis Entertainment channel. So jump over there and sub that channel. That's my personal. Uh, and there will be behind the scenes stuff there as well. Uh, coming in the next uh, three, four months probably. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people are asking if you will watch Moonstruck with Cher and Nicolas Cage, which I have put I have I have watched Moonstruck with Cher and Nicolas Cage when I was a teenager. Uh, I don't know if we'll do it for, maybe that'll be a cinema therapy after dark. Look, okay. It, there, we're not doing Moonstruck with Nicolas Cage before we do Raising Arizona with Nicolas Cage. That I is am correct. Very firm on this. Yeah. Well, and that's got some great family dynamics for it's, us. Too. Raising <laughs> Arizona is wonderful. It is an amazing film. Um, how long will the film be? It'll be uh, between ten and fifteen minutes, somewhere somewhere in that range. Yeah. So it is a short film. It's not a feature. We have an idea to stretch it into a feature, and that's one of the reasons we need as many Kickstarter backers as we can. If you can't afford like one of the big expensive tiers, but you can afford $2, the number of backers at this point is way more important because it helps us show potential investors, hey, there's a lot of people out here who want to see movies yeah. that we make. So you know, Do you need us? In five minutes. In five minutes. We have, we're gonna wrap up. One more question. Can yeah. we do one more? Do you have a, a big Someone scary one? I wants to know if there will be dubbing. Dubbing into foreign languages? We have not uh, discussed dubbing into foreign languages yet, but uh, yeah, hit us up either in the comments or wherever, and we'll talk about languages because I'm not opposed to that. I would love for you to dub me in Russian. You could be Russian. <laughs> I'll be Spanish me. Perfect, yeah. And that's probably as far as it'll go. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> yeah, uh, let us know what languages you'd be interested in. Uh, subtitles, for sure. Mm -hmm. Dubbing is a bit more expensive, but I'd, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Yeah. We've got an all-night shoot. We have an all-night shoot, and we got to go do it. There are 22 slots left for the pre-release screening. Oh, uh, just heard there are still 22 slots available for the pre-release screening. Get after those if you got the money and you want to. If not, any amount that you can contribute would help. Thank you so much. First of all, I just have to say, first of all, last of all, Thank you so much, all of you, for watching Cinema Therapy and all of you who have backed so far that have allowed us to make this. It is uh, literally a dream come true for me. This is based in part on my nightmares. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you very much. We love you. We'll see you later. <clears throat>